graduated from Crater High School, and before there were three specific small schools, they called them school within a school. And so I was part of a social service school where we were able to do internships, and that was awesome. So um, after I graduated from Crater, I jumped over to Oregon State University, um, and I got my undergraduate degree in English, and I had planned on being an English teacher. Um, I also had started working for a nonprofit, the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, and loved that. I eventually actually started pursuing a path in nonprofits. I worked also when I moved back um, to get my graduate degree at SOU in teaching. I worked at Hearts with a Mission. And so um, just being able to work with kids and families directly um, and help them just be able to like meet their needs in the moment was really awesome. So I was actually really torn between between teaching and nonprofit, nonprofit world, but um, I got hired in the Medford School District and right after the first week of teaching, I was like, no, this is definitely what I'm supposed to be doing. My parents I put a strong emphasis on just being like kind and welcoming to other people. Um, any opportunity that we have to give back or be generous, my parents took the opportunity to truly really instill those values in me and, and I believe in community. Like I said, I come from a small town where everybody knows everybody and sometimes that can be looked at in a negative light. You know, like, oh, it's so small and people wanna get out of that. I love that. I think that's so special and um, it's really like helping out your neighbor um, and our community is strengthened when people do that. So I just, I believe in that and I'm all about it, so. When you start like interacting with different people or getting to know different families, you realize everybody's experience is super unique. Um, and that is, that is so special. And so I think just getting to know your community and getting to know like, oh, what, what needs do people have, but also what strengths do people have that I don't have? Or what can this person bring to the table that I don't know anything about or I've never heard of? Um, and so that, that does really inform my approach to, to teaching and to educational leadership. I think um, we work better together. I love to collaborate because of that. I have specific strengths, but I don't have all the strengths. Um, and I love to be able to work together with a team because you can just see how much farther towards a goal that you can get because you combine all these different strengths and, and viewpoints and visions to, to get somewhere and to serve a wider audience. You know, education is so, public education is so special because we get to serve so many different kids with different needs. What is the students' dreams and goals? Have they thought through that? Have they had the opportunity to like dream without barriers and to think about all the things that education or experience in a career field can get for them? And so I really take that approach to like really listen first because ultimately our, our goal is to serve our community and our, and our families and our kids well. So what can we do to hear what that sounds like, what that looks like, so then that we can put that into action. I'm a homebody and I, yeah, like I love, I love to read and so I'm, I'm usually reading or doing like different projects around the house. My husband and I own a side-by-side -side and like my family members do also and so we go out into the mountains and kind of ride on that or we go over to the coast um, to ride on the dunes, have some adventure and go camping doing that. Also just like, well, I love uh, live music and good food. So. So um, the small community um, was really a draw just because that was my experience as well, growing up in a smaller community with one high school and um, being able to just really serve the community directly. I really liked that. That was very attractive to me. And there's also this reputation of Phoenix High School in particular, the staff members just being able to connect with kids on a genuine, authentic level and just transform the educational experience for kids. And I've heard that um, from students who graduated from here, um, from, from people who had grown up here. Um, my in-laws live just down the street and so I've kind of been able to keep my finger on the pulse of what goes on here. And also, um, the Phoenix Talent School District as a whole just um, serves their community so well. And so when I saw that, that um, they were hiring, I just thought, wow, it would be phenomenal to be able to like, work alongside these people. I used to be the activities director of high school. 
And so um, I have this passion for just kind of the buzz of the school year. So like pep rallies and marching band performances and the Friday night football game and those things that come with a school year that we haven't had in a while just because of pandemic life and all that. So there's that. I love that. Um, but kind of digging into that, the reason why I love it is you can watch students' passions come alive through those things. And so each year that's different and each experience is different. So I'm really looking forward to working alongside like student leadership and students to, to make their experience like very theirs for them to own it. And um, similarly with teachers, just to get to know our staff members, our teachers, our other staff, well, what makes them tick and how we can continue the great legacy that's already been built here. Um, and then like make a few changes, tweak a few things to make it our own each year. I'm really looking forward to that. I really want people to, to talk with me. I, there's gonna be some opportunities where we'll invite families and parents in to talk with me about just like what I was saying, their hopes and dreams for their kids. Because um, my heart is to serve our community. So what can we do to do that? And then also to kids, like, I want to make this experience the best that I can for you. So if you um, don't have a place where you belong, but you have some ideas, like, let's meet. Let's figure out how we can make this experience the best for you. Um, and, and my office door is open and my ears are open and ready to listen. And like, let's make this the best year that we can. It's going to be great.